Remember, folks, I'm just a Muppet in a chair. Don't take me seriously. What's up, everyone? How are we doing today? Hope you're having a good day. Uh, today, I will be reacting to Benidorm, and it's going to be episode four from season one. I'm really liking Benidorm. It's wacky, and uh, there's some very interesting characters in it. Uh, the, sp guy, the Spanish guy is quickly becoming one of my favorites, even though he doesn't have a lot of screen time. A lot of the characters on the show don't have much screen time, but I'm enjoying it. But the Spanish guy, I noticed in a lot of the comments last time, they said the Spanish guy, uh, the actor who plays him can speak like five or six different languages or something like that, which is highly impressive because I can't even speak two languages. And the one that I do speak, uh, most of the time I don't speak it that well. So I'm quite jealous. But uh, yeah, it's highly impressive, and uh, I hope to see more wacky adventures from him. And uh, I hope Johnny Vegas gets some more screen time and some more lines. He's kind of just like wandering around in the few scenes that he has. But I'm enjoying it, so this is going to be the reaction to episode four from season one. Hope you guys like it. Remember to like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want, okay? Now let's get into the reaction. Here we go, folks. Gracias. How I could just stay like this all day. What do you mean you could? It's all you have done for the last three days. Huh. Mind you, it is cracking, I'll give you that. How come we've never gone abroad before? Because my mother never offered to pay before. <laughs> Cheap now, all these low-cost airlines. Cheaper to fly to Spain than it is to fly to Newcastle. What do you want to go to Newcastle for? I don't. What are you talking about then? I'm just saying, aren't I? It's cheaper to fly to Spain than it is to Newcastle. Who do you know in Newcastle? I don't know anybody in Newcastle. Bloody hell. I'm only saying. Why Newcastle? Oh, Christ, on a bike. That woman <laughs> were from Newcastle, weren't she? Hey? That slag. What slag? The one in the bar the other night. The one you've not met before, but mysteriously knew your name. Oh, you give me the... <laughs> Did you say slut or slight? Is that just the way that, that their accent says that word? I don't know. I could have sworn she says slight. Which is like, you know, shit, shite. I don't know. The rest. We're supposed to be relaxing. We're on holiday. Yeah, I know we are. Just don't relax too much. I've got my eye on you. Uh-oh. Uh, excuse me. I'm on break. I'm poker breakfast, poor favor. Oh, chill out. It's ridiculous. Most of the people here are English. You think they'd have a go at the language. But if you pay peanuts, you get monkeys. I'm from Baconhead, mate. Plus, this is a self-service buffet. So tomorrow, if you get here before our time, when breakfast finishes, you won't have to rely on the monkeys, will you? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Good job it is self-service. You wouldn't want him gobbing on your meat. Oh, I don't know. Hello, hello. Sorry to bother you. Hello there. Well, hello. How are you? I've been meaning to come over and apologise at some point. Apologise? Yes, I do believe I spat on you at breakfast. Did you? Yes, totally unintentional, you understand. I was at the buffet and I turned my head slightly to spit out a tiny bit of eggshell and, well, you were just outside my peripheral vision and I believe it landed in your hair. I'm kind of worried that uh, the grandma is talking to the swingers right now. Uh, I don't... <sighs> I'm just going to leave it at that, okay? I'm kind of worried. Oh, well, we're on holiday, aren't we? My philosophy, exactly. I'm Donald, and this is Jacqueline. Oh, I'm Madge. Madge, lovely name. Enjoying your holiday, Madge? Oh, yes, lovely bit of sun. You don't get this in Manchester. Oh, is that where you're from, Manchester? Well, not originally, but it's where we live now. Uh, we used to travel down to Manchester. We had a couple of musician friends, Keith and Eunice Piggott. You might have heard of them, the Blue Notes. No, do you mean the Ink Spots? No, no, the Blue Notes, uh, very big in the Belgian jazz scene. Uh, they were a lovely, broad-minded couple, weren't they? Oh, yes. 
We did a lot of very good home movies with them. Yes, very versatile couple. That would be when late 60s? Oh, I was in my prime then, the swinging 60s. Oh, right. Bit of a swinger, were you? Oh, yes, 40 uh -oh. years ago. Mind you, I've not lost it. I reckon once a swinger, always a swinger, don't you? Oh, yes. Absolutely. Oh, I, I could kick my legs up with the best of them. Don't think because I'm in a chair, I'm past it. Oh, I'm sure you're not. We had a lovely couple from the black country staying with us before we came away. She was 58, had a plastic mm. hip, but that didn't stop her going like the clappers, did it? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, well, you've got plenty to read. That's good here, isn't it? I brought three magazines with me and I've gone through them like a dose of salt. Oh, okay, here, take a couple. <laughs> As if the grandma wasn't... Oh, it wasn't bad enough. Oh, God. Oh, wow. I've got a stack of them in the apartment. Oh, thanks, love. I, I don't want you to think that's all I come over for. Not at all. Plenty more where they came from. Nancy Friday, women on top. It's not one of them feminist jobs, is it? I can't be doing with that. Lord of airy lesbians trying to do their own plumbing. No, it's more, <laughs> um, well, fantasy. Oh, not that Lord of Your Rings rubbish. Someone in the pub give us that on DVD. All you could see were people getting up to go to the toilet. What is your mother doing talking to them? I think she's gone to borrow a magazine. What's wrong with the magazine she's got? They're in Chinese. <laughs> what do you think's wrong with them? She's read them. All right, I only asked. Here we are. Alan Titmarch. It's a gardener, isn't it? I like him. I'll have a look at this one, if that's all right. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, he's lovely, isn't he? I'd let him dig my garden any day. Oh, perhaps you'd like to come up and have a good old rummage through Jacqueline's Jilly Coopers? No. No! Oh, just the thought of that. Oh. I I'm very worried, Boomer Rights. I'm very worried right now. It's loosen up. Oh, I... I might take you up on that. Please It'd be don't. nice to have a civilised conversation for a change. I'm a widower, so I don't get much these days. Oh, we can soon put that right, can't we? Oh, yes. Howdy. Howdy. What you playing? Scrabble. Nice one. Like your style. No, I mean... What are you playing American rules, English? Spanish. Cool, cool. Yeah, there is a role to it, but it's playable. Do you fancy a game? Do you like? So, uh, yeah. Please don't tell me Johnny Vegas ends up being like a pedo type character. Please, please. I like Johnny Vegas too much for his character in this show to go down that route. Who were your family? Yeah, I was going to come on all day by myself, but then I remembered I'm 16 and have no money. Do you want me a break? Yeah, I remember when I had to go on all day with my parents when I was 16. It's a bitch, isn't it? Stripes. Who's that woman you've been sat with for the past three days? Oh, that woman? She's my PA. Your PA? No, personal assistant. She deals with all my day to day shit. What? She's in his mum. No, you know, she takes care of all my day to day admin shit. Phone calls and whatever. I'm a professional pub quiz champion. Just breaking into television. You know what I mean? No. I'm avoiding William G. Stewart at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> He's trying to get 15 to 1 back off the ground. Wants me to set the questions. I thought that woman was your mum. <laughs> my mum? Me too. That's funny. I, 
I'll tell her though. Make her laugh. Jeff, Jeff, I found some of those batteries you were after for your headset. I left them with your mum. <laughs> I uh, I think that scene, Johnny Vegas has had more lines in that scene than all the than in all of the previous three episodes. I really do. So it's good to see him get some lines. Um hopefully he gets more down the road. <laughs> yeah, the wonder of returns. Well, that's something I didn't expect. A civilized conversation in this place. Very nice couple. What did you get, ma'am? It's that Titmarsh fella, the one who does the gardening. It's Titchmarsh. Yeah, how lovely. We'll have to get you strapped into your chair to read that one, Madge. Apparently, Alan likes to give his money's worth in the old sex sex scene. Oh, <laughs> don't be disgusting. <laughs> it's Alan Titmarsh off the telly. Not everybody's like you, you know. Mind like a sewer. I'll have to look at that after you, ma'am. There's some Jilly Coopers in their apartment. I'm off up there later to have a drink with them. With a bit of luck, they'll give me one. There's no answer to that. <laughs> yeah, there's not. There's not. <laughs> that was great. Oh, that was great. There's no answer to that. You're absolutely right. Oh, okay. There we go. Martin, I can't drink a cocktail. It's okay, it's non-alcoholic. I really enjoyed last night. I had a little too much to drink. You were fine. Well, when I say you were fine, you were pretty insatiable when we got back to the apartment. I'm glad the dude, this guy get, finally got some from his wife, who hates him. That's good, to, that's good to hear. Yes, I know, you said this morning. You really can't remember? No, I'm sorry, I can't. I'm not used to drinking that amount. And I'm not used to you making that kind of noise in the bedroom, either. <laughs> Must admit, the old soldier had nearly forgotten how to stand to attention. Oh, my God. Hey, relax. We're on holiday. We're allowed to do things that are a little bit crazy. There I come! Uh-oh. There he is. What one in my bag from yesterday? Waste not, want not. Oh, mother. Just uh, pass me my t-shirt, will you, Michael? What do you want your t-shirt for? It's bloody boring. Waste not, want not, like Benjamin Franklin. Do you know what it's like being on a dream holiday with Hugh Grant? Ah, we all know what he got up to. Got caught in his car with his trousers down, dirty bastard. My dad looks no like Hugh Grant. Thank you, my darling. I'm more like Russell Grant. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Russell Grant? That guy of Celebrity Fit Club that looks like a gay toad. Gay, a beautiful wine for two beautiful girls. Uh oh. Hi there. Oh, he doesn't even know. <laughs> Hi, sorry to bother you. I was just wondering if I could get another cocktail. Now, now what do you recommend? Hi, uh, two tequila sunrises, please. Oh, right. Sorry, were you next? Uh, what are you served? No problem. <laughs> How are you enjoying your holiday? Yeah, it's okay. Sun's nice. Absolutely. It's not exactly the Ritz, but uh, as you say, you can't fault the weather. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Martin Whedon. Sorry? I I'm Martin. Oh, hi, I'm Troy. Nice to meet you. I think I saw you the other day. You're with your, um, friend. Yeah, I'm here with my friend. <laughs> Sorry, that sounded slightly patronising. No, not really. I think it's important that someone's lover should be their friend. Best friend, preferably. I agree. I agree. Queen Boomer's my best friend. She's also my lover. Totally agree. Yes. Yes, you're right. Anything to eat? Hang on, I'll check. Gavin, mm? the barman says, has he got anything you'd like to eat? Stop being vile and bring me my drink. Guess he's not hungry. See you later. Yeah, have a good one. Right, can I have a virgin... What I was just going to get you. <laughs> 
I wonder if he's ignoring him because he's, uh, he knows he's the husband of that girl that he just <laughs> took back to his, uh, room in the last episode. I don't know. Or maybe he just doesn't like him in general. Manana. I'll be up a bit later. Oh no. Yeah, Don't do it. Under the table with them, aren't you? Very nice couple. Mind you, you were right about this book. It's absolutely filthy. Oh. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Why didn't you tell us you were going to have a baby? This is none of your business. Mm. Nana said you're too fat to have a baby. You know there's a monster in that pool, don't you? Don't be a twat. <laughs> well, it's not a monster. They call it the fish baby. And it lives in the bottom of the pool. <gasps> it's got scales and big teeth. See, they tried to drown him in the pool when he was born because they didn't want him. But he learned to live under the water. <laughs> Shut up. Did you not feel him trying to pull you under when you were drowning in the pool? Shut up. Mum, tell her to shut up, Mum. What? What's she doing? Tell her to shut up. Can I have the key? I'm off back upstairs. Well, we're all going in now. Come on, Mum. All right, I'm coming. <laughs> oh, hold your horses, lady. Wait for us. Dad, are you gay? No, son. I just want to go on weekends with... <laughs> Kid is my spirit animal, man. Well, for those of you who uh, know, I think most of you do. Uh, me and Queen Boomer are expecting a baby. If it's a boy, I kind of want it to be like this kid. <laughs> I don't know what it is about uh, kids in um, television shows or movies. When they start cursing, it's like the funniest thing to me. I don't know why it's... It, it just, it makes me belly laugh every time. It really does. I love it. When they're busy. I need you to send a fax to Channel 4. For what? I cancel that conference call with Television Centre. What is he doing? Well, I haven't got a phone. <laughs> Benadorm Holla Sex bomb, sex bomb You're my sex bomb Sex bomb I thought we were having food in our room We've got a hypnotist on tonight Martin, no It's okay, I won't let them get you up on stage I'm not just your partner, you know I'm your best friend as well Oh, God. <laughs> Her face. Oh, no, she just left the room. What happened? What happened? Please, no. Please tell me she didn't do it. Oh, my God. You can give it to me when I need to come along. Sex bomb, sex bomb. I love that dress on you, John. Talk about sex bomb. Where's me and the gun? She's gone to borrow a book. Oh, so that's what the young kids are calling it these days. Will you pack it in? Well, you know they're into all that, don't you? Know that who's into what? That Scotch bloke and his wife, they're a pair of swingers. <laughs> they think your mother's gone up for a bit of a fumble with the curtains shut. <laughs> what part of your sick brain does all this rubbish come out of? I feel really ill. Are you OK? Yeah. I've got a sneaking suspicion that drinking non-stop for seven hours might have something to do with it. I'm just going to go up to the room for a minute. Do you want me to come with you? No, you stay here. I won't be long. I'm going to get something appropriate from the medicine bag. I didn't know we brought a stomach pump. <laughs> Does he really feel sick? What is he doing? Oh, no. No, so glad you made it. Oh no. What is this? Because we actually see into the room. I'm scared. I'm very scared. This is not good. Ugh. 
need it. Thought for a minute you'd had cold feet. Cold feet? No. One of my daughters has got flat feet. She's been off work a year with them. Now, what would you like to drink? Oh, whatever's going. Go through, go through. I think Jacqueline started without us. Oh, where do you want me to put this book? Go through, go through. Oh. Right. Oh, my God. This is... no. in the wall. Something is plugged into the wall. To me. Everything okay? Let me out. Let me out. Oh dear, I think there's been a slight misunderstanding. Slight misunderstanding. I should have known when I read that mucky garden book. Bloody pervert. Oh, I'm so sorry, man. Let me out. I think we've been talking at cross purposes. Oh, oh dear. Oh. So sorry, oh, Madge. We've been locked up the pair of you. You can't knock a coconut down every time. <laughs> Tea? Oh, yes. Oh, my God, dude. At least, uh, you know, the good news is at least it didn't happen. I was worried she was going to go in there and love it. And... We were going to see some very unsavory things, some unholy things. Oh my God. That was, that's such a relief. Oh, I would, I don't, if that actually happened and they went, she went through with it and all, all the nonsense. Um, I don't know what I would do. I would probably have to stop doing reactions for a few days because I would be scarred for life. I'd have that image in my head for the rest of my life. So, I'm so happy that didn't happen. Oh. All the way from Newcastle. Look, she's hightailing it out of there. the girl that she doesn't like. It's that woman. What woman? The one from Newcastle. Oh, yeah. You sexy thing. Is she taking the piss? What? No. She's singing at you. She isn't. She is. Where did you come from, Angel? What is she going to do? Boy, you. Do something useful for once and get me a drink. Large vodka and orange. What's the matter, ma'am? Did they give you another book? I've never been so disgusted. <laughs> What's wrong? Perverts. Bloody perverts. Both of them. Uh, the grandma just went a uh, bunch of notches up in my book. I already liked her. She was funny, but... Uh... I'm so, again, I'm so glad she didn't go in there and uh, participate. Uh, sorry, we haven't even ordered yet. <laughs> but can we... I'm going out to get some aspirin. I'll come with you. No, you stay here. I'll be fine. Order me a baked potato. Okay, baked potato. What filling? Anything. Right. Just a baked potato, huh? <clears throat> Anything. Is it the same woman? Yes, it friggin' well is. And she's singing that song to Mick. Well, I'd kick her ass into the middle of next week if it were me. Don't worry, I intend to. Madge, I, I just wanted to say I... I'm really terribly sorry about what happened. We must have got our wires crossed at some point. Wires crossed? I should sue. I'm scarred for life after what I've seen. Oh, we're terribly sorry. We misjudged the situation. <laughs> Disgusting perverts, the pair of you. <laughs> we hope you won't be offended, but we've brought you these cigarettes by way of an apology. Would you accept them? 
Oh, well. Well, I suppose it's a mistake anybody could make. Absolutely. No hard feelings. No. I knew the cigarettes would win her over. Remember, smoking kills people. Don't smoke. Okay? Smoking is so dangerous that it kills people that don't smoke. So don't smoke! All you Muppets out there. No hard feelings. Have a lovely evening. What's going on? Well, you weren't disgusted for very long, were you? <laughs> very genuine people. Oh, aye. Oh. Nothing to do with the 200 SIGs, obviously. some drinks. I know where he's bloody well gone. What's going on? Where did he go? Four plates in front of him. Shh. I'll give you a fucking shush. <laughs> it's the Spanish Tell guy. Me, you dirty bastard. It's the Spanish guy. It's gotta be. Yes! <laughs> Yo, I was not expecting that! Holy shit! Oh, thank God. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no! <laughs> this is not what it looks like. Oh, my God! You forgot the key. Oh man. Wow. It takes two, baby. Oh my god, that was oh that was brilliant. Now, where is her husband and the blonde chick though? Are we gonna find that out? To make a dream come true. Just oh, he's back, okay. Where's your mom? Oh, no. About time. Just takes two. Oh, so we're not going to find out. Okay. All right. Wow. What an ending to that episode. <laughs> okay. So the Spanish guy likes men and women. Okay. And, uh, yeah, the, like I should have thinking back about it. I should have known because, um, the, uh, skinny gay guy was, I couldn't understand why he was going back to his room. I was like, you know, I remember saying like, is, is he really sick though? What's going on? So, but I had no idea that that was going to happen. So if they planted the seeds there to suggest that something like that would happen between the two of them, they really tricked me, man. That was, that was brilliant. Um, also the, the blonde chick, I guess she just, disappeared or went to the bathroom i don't know but uh the dude's wife she's probably <laughs> scarred from that too and the poor uh the the heftier gay guy well, that that sucks for him although he is kind of snobbish like he he's you know he's got that like entitled personality so i did but you know i don't for so, something like I know it's a comedy show, but like in real life, you don't want that kind of thing to happen to anybody. It's like one of the worst things to go through um, emotionally. So, kind of feel bad for the guy. I do, but uh, that was a good episode, and uh, I am very pleased that the grandmother did not participate with the swingers. Uh, like, I'm not even religious, but thank you because I did not want to see that and have 
that image in the, my head for the rest of my life. So all, all in all, good episode. I'm really liking Benidorm. I really am. Um, I see some comments saying like, uh, you should continue with it. Like I am. Um, if there, if in one of the previous reaction videos, I gave off the impression that I don't like that Benidorm. I don't know what it was, but I do. I really like Benidorm. So it's uh, a double thumbs up for me for Benidorm. And it's, uh, it's different. Each show that I react to has like the, their own unique thing. So it's, uh, it, it's a pleasure doing reaction videos uh, to these shows for you guys. I really like Benidorm. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Remember to like, subscribe, do whatever you want. And uh, be on the lookout for more reaction videos. And I hope you guys have a lovely day. Stay safe out there and tell somebody you love them today, okay? And don't talk to swingers. Don't talk to swingers. Unless maybe you're into that kind of thing. I don't know. All right, Boomerites. I'll see you next time.